Hi guys and ladies. Um, basically, I just want to talk to you about um, about stuttering. Um, well, as you know, with with me, I I I kind of you could I don't really stutter properly, but I I slur with my words, and as you've noticed o over the, over the past few months, less than that, maybe more, not probably more than that. You know, it's um I I my stut my my slurring has got better in some places maybe a bit yeah um so i just want to talk to you about um how to avoid stuttering and i think the best way of going about not stuttering i mean you've got you've got the best way of well basically before i start before going to go into it properly basically you got people you got one person of the, the bible in the old testament i think it was moses but correct me if i'm wrong as well, you can write it, write it down below, just to just to correct me on on it. But I think um I think Moses stuttered because <laughs> um he was I think he was letting that he was freeing up the the children of I think it was the children of Israel. Um, he was either Moses or Abraham. Yeah, got a funny feeling it was Abraham actually. I need to look it up myself. Um. Basically, um, it was freeing up, freeing up the children of Israel, and um, um, so when when he, when he was about to, when God called him to free up the children of Israel, or or, or free the people, um, more, I think he he, rep he replied, um, bear, bear with me for one minute, because I, I want to check this to make sure I'm saying the right stuff. I don't wanna, I wanna. I don't want to like preach something wrong here. Hang on just a minute. Um. Hang on a minute. Uh, who stop? Who stop? Who stuttered in the Bible? Here we are. Exodus. Um, yeah, it was Moses. So yeah, I was right. You, you. It's in Exodus. Um, one minute, one minute. Let me just check it up. Exodus. Bible Gateway. Um. Mo. Yeah. Um, so it says God said to Moses, "Now, now, in in um Exodus, Exodus six, God said to Moses, now you'll see." You what I'll do to Pharaoh with a strong hand he'll send them out free with a with a strong with a strong hand he'll drive them out of the his land God continued speaking to Moses re re reassuring him I am God I appear to Abraham Isaac and Jacob as the strong God but my but by my name God I am present I was not known to them I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan the country in which they lived uh, as so sojourners I don't know what that is I don't think that, okay but now I I've heard the groans of the Israelites whom the Egyptians continue to in, enslave and I've remembered my covenant therefore tell the Israelites I am God I will bring you out of out, out from under the cruel hard labor of Egypt I will re rescue you from slavery I will redeem you inter intervening with great acts of judgment I'll take you as my own people and I'll be God, be, I'll be God to you you know that I am God, your God, who brings you out from under the cruel, uh, hard labor of Egypt. I bring you onto the land that I promised to give Abraham, Isaac, and Isaac and Jacob, and give it to you as your own country. I am God. But when Mo now this bit, um, so listen carefully, um, but when when Moses delivered it. But when Moses delivered this message to the Israelites, 
they didn't even hear him they were that beaten down in spirit by the harsh slave slave conditions the then God said to Moses go and speak to Pharaoh go and speak to Pharaoh king of Egypt so that he will release the Israelites from his land Moses answered God look Moses yeah I think it's this one yeah uh, yeah 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 this is this is the one um he says here Moses answered God look look the Israelites won't even listen to me how do you expect Farah Farah to Farah to and besides I I stutter that spell S T U T T E R but God again laid out the facts to Moses and Aaron regarding the Israelites and Farah king of Egypt and he again commanded them to lead the Israelite Israelites out of the land of Egypt so um so yeah that's it so yeah it was it was um it was Moses um so basically you see in the Bible that somebody stutters and every, every Christian knows that every every Christian knows that and and every, and if no Christian know doesn't know that they sh they should already know that um not trying to judge or anything because we're all, we're all we're all um we're all um at a different stage in our Christian walk as as we all know as as um as as preachers know as as preachers know as um anybody else knows um so yeah so basically let me just take my coat off sorry I'll, I'm in a house where it's where it sometimes can get cold yeah putting the heating up you'd probably be thinking but I don't pay the bills um basically so to 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 get to get um to get healed from a stutter or to get better from a stutter I mean I've known I've heard I've 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 known one preacher personally and I've and I've known and I've I haven't really seen him be being healed properly from stuttering but he but he but he um chose to he chose to be be a preacher although he stutters and he's stu and he stuttered the quite a bit. No, no, he wasn't severe, but he did stutter. You can hear it, or you can tell instantly. That was one person I knew, per I knew personally. I'm still, I don't really phone him that much because he's in a different church. Um, I don't really, yeah, don't really phone him much. Um, the second one, it was from my church. Um, uh, the guy, the guy said he stuttered, but you can't really tell. Like now, now currently, you can't really tell that he actually stuttered, but he said in in his in the past. He used to stutter, so that's two people that's that I that I've heard of and know that has been that has that has either chosen to to preach whilst they they got stutter stuttering or been healed from stuttering. So my tip is basically, I mean, I'm, I I think I mean, I don't judging by what I what I see from this friend um that I used to know. He, I don't think he sp he spoke a lot, and I think uh, I think to be able to cure cure a stutter, from what I understand and what what I do believe as well, and what I've experienced as well from with me a little bit, um, I think you have to just keep on speaking, speak a lot, basically talk a lot, and eventually you will exercise it out of you, and eventually you you become you you be able to speak smoothly. Um, I only know it's I only know the only people I know stutter, stutter is only guys I know, but I think there's a I think there's a it's not really a biblical reason for it, but I think I think I think it's just I do believe it's just a, just an a, an an attack an attack the devil puts on men, but um but please put me wrong please please put me wrong if you find any la if you find any ladies that stutter, because I would like to see it or hear it, um but. As far as I know, I only know I only I've only seen men stutter, and I, like I said, I think it's only I think it's only um and I think it's an attack from the devil to 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 attack men to try and um try and try and lose for them to try and lose their self confidence because I think I think it's a self confidence thing um because like what, what I just said earlier I said that you have to keep speaking more um. 
I don't, like, like what I've just said, I don't think, like what you've just heard me say, I don't think a lot of men, men or women are going to want to speak out loud or speak, just speak bold and just speak what's in their heart. Uh, but I think if you want to be cured, if you want to be cured or healed from stuttering, I think that's the only way to go about it. Is is and that's by and that's by speaking more, and communicating more, and just finding something to talk about. And um, I'm sure God will help you. God will build up in the. N God will give you the knowledge to speak, because when, when people are clever, they they talk a lot. But some people, some people are, are might might not be clever, might not be clever, and they don't really talk much. They don't really talk much, um, much cleverness or much sense. But I think I think the reason why people talk when they don't have when when, it, when people talk when they don't have nothing to talk about and they don't and they're not clever and they don't have nothing to talk about. I think it's it's it, I think it's a it's a calling on their life, especially in the world when people people in the, in the secular world talk a lot. I think when people talk a lot and they're older, much older, and they talk a lot, um, I do believe they're called to to be a pre I do believe they're called in some kind. They, I do believe they're called in some kind of ministry to be to be a preacher or something of 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 some to be of something of an el of an eloquent speaker. So. Um, but they they won't know what they call to they won't know what they call to be because they haven't really found God, and they will, they will, they won't find they won't find what they truly call to be until they find God. Um, so like I said, um, it's a case of just practicing, speaking out loud, you know, talking to people, talking a lot, just keep on talking, just keep on talking basically, and then eventually it will be exercised outwards be exercised outwards and then you'll be able to be fluent in what you speak in what you say and in what you say um so i mean if you're called to preach then just preach you know don't let anyone put you down on it if you if you want if you want to if you want to talk a lot and you and you stutter talk a lot don't let anyone talk you down because people will people will attack you if you if you try to stutter if you sorry if you, if you um if you speak a lot and you stutter, people people might actually talk you down. But you never know. You never know what people people are like. People you might think that people won't do that, talk you down when you stutter. But you never know. You never know what the devil's gonna do. So um, I think it's a case of just talking a lot and just exercising it out and just keep keep doing it until you actually get better at it. Um, and it's a great thing if you um. If you, if you call to, if you if you call to preach and you and you stutter because that's a great thing to get into to be to preach to preach and you stuttering um yeah so I think that's it that's all I have to say really and um and yeah as always leave your comments subscribe because I'll be doing a lot more of this stuff m a lot more of this um, preaching. Um, so um, thanks for your time and um, God bless. And I hope I haven't forgotten anything else. But you know, it's all it's all in God. God's in control. Uh, okay, God bless you. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.